All right, we're back. Brooks Kapka, my man, my man, does it again. We took him at the U.S. Open. Best out of five. He had to be DJ Tiger, Rory, and Patrick Cantlay, who stinks. And here you can see is my first Brooks Kapka bet at the U.S. Open. I made this on a Wednesday, June 12th. I did two bets. The Group A, which I became very fond of and went 3-0 and with. And I also took him out right. As you can see, my Noah Dam, Gary, never heard from again, Woodland. It will never probably come in the top 10 in another major the rest of his life. I was waiting for him to fade away on Saturday and Sunday. Never happened. But anyways, for the rest of them, uh, you can see, as I mentioned earlier, Cantlay, he always stinks. Easy to bet against. Rory always chokes. DJ is like living in the past. And Tiger Woods is the same thing. He's never going to repeat that. So this was an easy winner right here. So the British Open, as we all know, was played in Ireland. And I love my captain. Although he finished in the 30s sometime last year. But he's just been on fire this year. I never even... I thought of taking a long shot on some other Irishman. Patrick Harrington. Or, uh, not Shane Lowry. I didn't think of Shane Lowry. Definitely not Rory. I, I know he's a fraud. The guy stinks. And of course, very first hole he gets an eight, which was fantastic. And then uh, ended up the, not even making the cut. Tiger, once I heard he was not going over there until like the day before, I was like, he doesn't care about it either. Don't worry about him. Dustin Johnson, you never know. He hung around the first round. And, but John Rahm was there. Um, unlike the U.S. Open, where Kapka was not leading that group till the final round, he took this one wire to wire. He jumped out quick. Rom stayed within a stroke. Saturday stayed within a stroke. But then Sunday, thankfully, <laughs> Brooks tanked with that terrible weather in the beginning. But Rom tanked more. Shot of 75. I think Brooks, uh, Brooks out of 73. This is my British Open bet, which I made on Wednesday, July 17th. I just focused on the Group A. You can see his odds went down a little. But I was like, well, McElroy always chokes, and he started his very first hole at his hometown course, where he has the course record at 16 of a 61, shot an 8. <laughs> Didn't even make the cut. He stinks. Uh, DJ, the same as we always say, and Wood just li li running on fumes, living off the pass. And like, who the heck is John Rahm? But usually when I say something like that, it's like, that's the guy who's going to bite me. And uh, he hung in there for a minute, but Kapka, especially, uh, I think Rahm was only a stroke or two behind and coming into Sunday, but... Cap could get his thing. He's a machine, and he won me money. So, profitable golf year to wrap it up. Won the U.S. Open. Won the British Open. The Masters. The heck did I do? Ah, I had a uh, – didn't win that one, I guess. I had uh, – Cap got 10-1 to one to win outright, and, uh, of course, came in second. That's before I knew about this group of five bet. So, definitely going to remember that for next year because Cap is a uh, – He's a machine. We'll have to see if we can figure out one more way, uh, another way to bet on him one more time before the year's over. When the big ones come up, uh, he does the job. So, uh, just a couple days after I recorded that, I turn on the TV and there's this World Golf Classic in Memphis, Tennessee, the FedEx Cup, with all the same guys: Rory, Kapka, DJ, John Rahm, all the same players. It was great. So I'm sitting in the basement Saturday with Tom. And we're like, why did we, how did I not, how did we not know this, this was happening? And why are we not betting on it? And so what happened was we go Saturday, we actually went to some Top Golf. And then when that night stopped on the way back, like, let's make some money on Brooks Kapka. So that's what we did. We went and bet on our boy Brooks. You're about to see in the next shot exactly who we beat. The usual suspects of Cantlay, who stinks. DJ, who's it's like, he's done. And uh, it was a good time. It won us some money. So there's that. And uh, who knows? We might even pop in one more little video segment of another random time. There's supposed to be some FedEx Cup playoffs. So we'll see what happens then. And my latest Brooks Kapka winner was done on a Saturday night at 1020. We stopped back after a little top golf. How appropriate. And hit the turf club. And we go bet on Group A in the FedEx. I didn't know the World Golf Classic was going on. And so, somehow, Brooks Kapka was only a stroke behind Rory, but I'm getting plus 175. This is a gift from the gambling gods. Thank you, Las Vegas, for that. DJ stinks, and Cantlay, he always chokes. John Rahm, I wasn't worried about. And Rory, just a matter of time. And what, by the f f 
Second hole, he tied Rory. By the fourth hole, he was already a stroke ahead. And by the back nine, by the tenth hole, he already had the lead of at least three strokes. So, never a doubt, my man Brooks Kapka, the winner. That's pretty much it for this wrap-up. There isn't much to it. We're going to be getting the football soon enough. July's ticking away. and Looking at that calendar, it's going to be flipping over to August soon enough. And then we're off and on to uh, college and NFL bets where we'll be doing daily updates on who we do, who we do and do not like. So, Brost.